This is Radio Larian one and a half. It sits between Radio Larian one, which I used curved cuts to get rid of the corners, and Radio Larian two, which didn't have any centers at all. Um, these centers are not the same at all as the Radio Larian three centers. These are the shallower version. They're actually fixed centers. So some people have said that this is actually the canonical face turning icosahedron, more like the uh, Rubik's cube and the Mega Minx. Um, are to their platonic solids, this is to the icosahedron. It was a challenging design in that some of the parts are extremely small. I don't know if that's possible to, to pick up on the video, but this part gets down to one and a half millimeters or so on parts of the neck. This is a little star arm that um, shows up on the puzzle here. To make this puzzle work, I have to build a radiolarian 3, a much deeper version on the inside. Um, to make the corners stable, give the corner a nice foot, and then work my way back out. And uh, the size of the centers is fully determined by the strength of the material that I'm using, white, strong, and flexible on shapeways. Um, the, the fact that I can only build to a certain size of neck means um, that I basically have to trade off between the corner and the center. So the corner ends up having a tiny, tiny neck, and the center, if I sh if you can see this, ends up with a tiny, tiny neck as well. Now, because so many of the pieces are so small, this puzzle should really be built maybe uh, 10 inches diameter to, to be nice and stable. Um, but I didn't want to pay for that. So the fact that I'm building a puzzle with pieces like this, uh, they're sharp edges. So that means that um, lockups are very, very likely. So let's try a couple of turns. I really don't want to end up um, pulling pieces around that aren't supposed to move when I move this. Um, you can see this loose puzzle piece here. It's not actually loose, it's just that this material is, as Shapeway says, white, strong, and flexible. So um, even though it's rooted solidly inside the puzzle, it still has kind of a flexibility to it. Um, let's turn this a little more. Since this is a face turning icosahedron, we have to jumble, and indeed it does jumble. This It only has the one jumbling position, it's extremely shallow. But again, you can see that as I'm turning these pieces, um, the faces are completely safe. None of these faces are actually moved by neighboring faces. They're completely fixed. So, um, so I, I have to agree, this is probably the canonical face-turning icosahedron, even though uh, at this size, it can't turn as well as my Radiolarian 2 or Radiolarian 3.